hey guys, we got something special going on today. As you can see from the really busy um, thumbnail that went up, this is a Medford Knife and Tool folding fighter. It's based, it is called the Folding Marine Corps Fighter, and it's based, based really closely on the K-Bar. Now this is my K-Bar, this is United States Navy K-Bar, and the cool thing about this is this video is gonna cross a couple of lines and a couple branches of service. So we'll get into that right after you guys turn down the volume because here comes some music. talk about right here. This came in from a couple of guys that I really like and respect. It's the guys that own it. Well, it's, it came from the owner of Fiber Light Fire Starters, who is a Marine. Now, all, everybody knows Marines never stop being Marines. They just stop being in the Marines. So when I say he's a Marine, I mean it. And there's a reason why I really like this is because what we're about to do is we're going to take a good close look at this knife and I'm going to tell you right now there's a big surprise at the end because there's a chance you could get in on this knife and get it for free because this is going to be part of a rather large giveaway. I'll give you some more of the details later and I'm also going to give you the actual details of the giveaway when it gets closer to time for the giveaway but this is just so you guys can see this. So like I said this is a Medford knife and tool folding fighter and it's a beast guys i some of you guys watched when i did the opening so let's go ahead and we'll talk about why this knife is kind of important well this came from a friend of mine who owns his own business he is a marine fellow service member he's helped me out a lot with things and in return i am trying to publicize this so my friend justin up at fiber light fire starters asked me if i could talk about this knife to get some publicity for a giveaway they're going to do here in the future which i will then let you guys know about so one of the things that I wanted to point out, I have a really long history with the Marines because my first few commands were on board amphibious ships. Uh, my grandfather was in the Navy and, and was on board amphibious ships. So I've had a long relationship with Marines. I actually get along with most of the Marines better than I get along with my fellow sailors. And I kind of wanted to point this out. This is a special coin that you saw in the intro. And I'm going to let you know in a little history of this just because it's kind of important since we're doing this cross branch, you know, Department of the Navy, even though the Marines like to say they're the men's department, this coin was from the 50th anniversary of Iwo Jima. I was on the island of Iwo Jima. I, I climbed to the top of Mount Sarabachi for the ceremony. I was given this coin that was cast with the black sands from Iwo Jima. So I have a really tight knit relationship with my fellow service members and especially the Marines. Uh, I, like I said, David over at Hiking with a Viking, Justin up at, uh, you know, up at uh, Fiberlight Firestarters and now Ember. So this is kind of important to me. So I want to get this right. So let's go ahead. Let's take a good look at this knife because it is impressive. I I'm going to do some size and weights. <laughs> I'm going to get some size comparisons. I don't think I have anything that really is going to demonstrate to you how impressive this knife really is. So let's go ahead and I will meet you guys down at the Chris Reeves, at the Chris Reeves microfiber on the counter momentarily. Well guys, I apologize. I'm having to real refilm this and I definitely apologize for the, the lack of my blue Chris Reeves microfiber. It has done run off. So I just wanted to open that up so we could have that there. So uh, this is actually kind of cool. I'm having to film this again. It's not cool that I'm having to film it again. It's just kind of cool that this is here. Turn that light on so we can get some more diffused lighting. This is cool because this is a knife that came to me from a Marine that was made by a Marine. I don't know how many of you guys know this. I'm sure most of you do. Greg Medford uh, was a Marine and, and is a Marine. So this is kind of cool because this is a Marine Corps folding fighter made by a Marine, sent to me by a Marine. <laughs> just kind of cool. So I got to say right up front... Whether you like Greg's knives or not, you can never say anything about the quality. He does some of the best 
um, manufacturing in the States for American Knife Company. It is top notch. You've never seen, I've never seen one that is, is done poorly. They always are flawless. The, just the, the manufacturer of this knife is just about flawless. A uh, beautiful hollow grind edge that comes down to a very sharp, uh, very, very sharp edge on this. Um, so let's go ahead and get into some specs. Not to not to draw this out any further because I already shot the other parts of this. So you'll see the weight and everything a little bit later. Uh, so what are we looking at? Overall, 9.5 inches. 9.5 inches. Blade length is 4.25 inches. Blade thickness of 0.19 inches, 30, S35VN, and it's done in a clip point fashion. And like I said, just look at it. You can see the definite, um, the definite similarities between this and an actual K-Bar here. Let's just go ahead and pull it out. Like I said, this is a Navy K-Bar. I was in Navy, I was not a Marine. So you can see the similarities here. This big fuller, real, real reminiscent of the K-Bar fighter handle the lines on the handle the the pummel everything is just super super derivative from the k-bar and it's supposed to be big pocket clip with the ball on it so it's easy in and out of pocket nice big thick backspacer detail or i mean lanyard hole greg's really really cool proprietary pivots all the markings with the the very military markings and something i neglected to mention the first time I shot this, which is actually cool, dog tag, the dog tag that marks it. So it's, you know, Medford Knife and Tool USA, medfordknife.com. It's got the phone number, 100% made in America. Comes in a nice little, uh, this is, I don't think this is a Pelican. This is probably one of those uh, Seahorse brand. Um, uh, I can't see it. At any rate, nice watertight case with its logo on it. Nice foam padding in there. So you've got the whole package. So let's go ahead, without any further ado, let's go back to the stuff that I shot earlier that came out right. So guys, I'm almost afraid to put this on my scale. I'm afraid it's going to break it. So in ounces, since we are using Freedom Units, let's go ahead and pull this up. <laughs> Nine and five-eighths ounces. Nine and five-eighths ounces. I believe that that may hold the record for the heaviest knife on this channel. I think that the previous record holder was my Artisan Mastiff, which come in right at seven ounces and some change. So yeah, nine and five eighths ounces. That's more than nine and a half ounces. Let's go ahead and do that in grams. Pull it up in grams. For those of you that don't use Freedom Units, and we probably fought for your right to not use those, 276 grams. Guys, that's a lot. That is a heavy knife. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. So now, the reason I'm doing this is because this knife is going to be part of a large giveaway. This is only part of the grand prize. There's going to be other items. When we turn this around, I'll give you the list of things. I'll write them down. I just got them in the mail. But before do we do that, I wanted to kind of... I, I really have to show you this coin up close. It means so much to me. I got this on my first command. It was the 50th anniversary. My grandfather was in Iwo Jima. And this just kind of means a lot to me to have this here. I bought, I got two of these when I was there. And one of these is buried with my grandfather. But you can see the raising of the flag on Iwo Jima. This is the monument that is there on Mount Suribachi. Uncommon valor was a common virtue. Armed forces of the United States of America. This is something that I treasure. And I thought it would only be fitting because these guys up at Fire, Fiberlight, Justin has been so great. We formed a fast friendship. I thought it would only be fitting to make sure that this made a, an, a, a, an appearance in the video and so that we can show that even though the Marines and the Navy are at odds sometimes, we're all, I mean, basically, we're, we're branches of the same service, the Navy and the Marines. Like I said, the Marines like to call us the, just say that they're the men's department, but they are part of the department of the, of the Navy. So size comparison here to a full size K-Bar. <laughs> We're looking at here. I mean, you, that gives you some perspective of how large that knife is. And just to make sure that I drive the point home, hang on a second. I have got another knife that we'll use. That pause was longer than I meant to. I had to find it. Let's look at it compared to a Sabenza 21. Now that should give you an idea 
of the size and dimensions of this knife because the Sabenza 21 is not a tiny, tiny knife. Just in blade width alone, it eclipses it. You could put this knife inside this knife. Uh, and then for those of you that don't have a Sabenza, maybe a Benchmade 940 will give you a better comparison. My goodness, is this thing a beast. So keep in mind, this is going to be part of a giveaway. So let's go ahead. We'll turn this around. I'll give you some final details about what's going to be in the giveaway because Justin at Fiberlate sent me all the stuff that's going to be a giveaway. It's a big giveaway, guys. So meet you guys back up for a little, a couple final thoughts. So yeah, guys, this is not a little giveaway. So I'm going to tell you right now, this knife is only part of the, the grand prize. First place is this knife and an iPad. So just to give you some perspective, the cheapest I found this knife was on Medford's website because everywhere else it was more expensive. And it wasn't even this one. It was not this finish. It was a different finish. So I'm not sure this might be a more pricey. I had $750 just in the knife itself. Not to mention the fact that they are giving away an iPad as well. So yeah, you gotta figure that's a big giveaway. There's also gonna be 15 other prizes available with multiple ways to enter. Up to 15 other prizes to be announced what those prizes are gonna be. So this is a huge giveaway that Fiberlite's going to be doing. Keep your eyes out for it. Hopefully this, this kind of got you thirsty for what's coming in the future. I'll let you guys know when the actual giveaway goes live and where it's gonna be, how to enter, and all those things. I expect it to happen soon. So guys, Go visit Fiberlight Firestars. They're great guys. They make a really good product. It's an American-owned, veteran-operated company. They're great guys. I talk to Justin all the time. I, I really, really love that guy. He's he's a great dude. Uh, and and we, we contact each other all the time. You've seen how much Fiberlight stuff has been on this channel. And the fact he's going to do such a big giveaway is great. I would also like to mention I have a merch store now. So on top of the fact that I have the Olight affiliate link below for the sale that's going on there. I also have a merch store down below. And Justin at Fiberlate also owns a printing company. He's going to be printing merch for me that will be coming in and we're gonna announce that. Co-branded shirts for his company and my company together. It's a kind of a really cool time. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully you enjoy it. This is why it's been hard to get videos out because all of this stuff takes up time. So guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but try to tell me why. If you really like the videos, there's an applause button down below. And if you want to join the channel to get in on exclusive giveaways and exclusive content and early access to videos, please just click on the join tab below, help support the channel so I can do more things bigger and better. So guys, without anything else, like I said, go visit the merch store. I love you all. Take it easy. And I'll see you in the next video if I can find my remote. Thank you.